Today we're going to do a basic orientation to Rhino 6. Rhino is the CAD computer aided drafting software that we will use to do many projects along the course of the semester. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down and just orient ourselves to the screen you see in front of you. If you start at the top, you'll see a little icon up here with a 6 and right next to it it tells you the name of the software. This is just the title bar, allowing you to know what software you are currently using. Right below that, you'll see these menus, File, Edit, View, very similar to the menus you would see in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. This is the menu bar right here, and if you open these menus, you're going to see a whole bunch of different, very technical looking uh, menus with lots of sub-options, and these can be fairly intimidating but we are not really going to use these menus hardly at all so you can just set those aside for now if you come down from there you're going to see a bold word that says command with a blinking cursor this is the command line where you can enter commands for Rhino to do and we will use this command line quite a bit but we're going to come back to it at a later time working our way down the next area of the Rhino interface is all of these tabs right here. These are called the tabbed toolbars. And these also have a whole bunch of different options. And all of these icons correlate to the different options up here in the menu bars. It's just a different way to select things on the screen. Again, we are going to just mostly stay right here in the standard tab and we will use a little bit of the drafting tab over here. Other than that, we're going to just ignore the rest of those tabs. If you work down the left side over here, this is called your sidebar. And the sidebar is where the majority of the things we are going to use exist. So in particular, we're going to work from the top two-thirds of this sidebar underneath the standard tab. We'll also come back to that. If you come down to the bottom down here, you will see that there are several words, grid snap, ortho, planar, osnap, and this is called our status bar. For now, we are going to focus on this one called osnap, which is object snaps. So I want you to click on that osnap, and that should enable these boxes to the bottom left. And I want you to click on your end box right there, and your osnap should turn bold, indicating that your object snaps have been activated. If we come over to the right, on the right there are some tabs here. There's a properties tab, there's a layers tab, there's a rendering tab, and the one we're going to pay attention to is this layers tab right here. We are going to use this quite a bit over the course of the semester, so I just want you to know where that is. Having done that, we are oriented to the outside areas of Rhino, and now we can come into the main screen interface. So you see we have four viewports. We have a perspective, a top, a front, and a right viewport. These are all views of the same thing, just different views. So to start with, we're gonna come over to our sidebar and select this blue cube with a single left click. And then let's move into our perspective window and left click, drag out a rectangle, click again, and then drag up and click again and you will have created a cube. Your cube probably looks like this which is in wireframe mode. If you come up to the word perspective and pull down this menu you can change it to shaded so it looks like a solid cube. If you are in perspective window and you select this cube notice the outline turns yellow this lets you know that it is selected. If you look in the top view, the front view, and the right view you will notice that we have also yellow selections. These are again the same view or the same object in different views. So this is top view. If you think of this like being a vehicle, a car, this is if you were flying right above it looking down. This would be the front of the car. This would be you know the driver's side or the right side of the car. And then this would be if you're flying a drone in 3D space looking around. So I want you to come to your perspective window and right click and drag your mouse and you will see that you are now what is called orbiting in 3D space. 
If you let go of your right click button and you zoom in and out with your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out on your object. And if you hold the shift key down and right click with your mouse and drag, you will pan. So that's how to navigate the area in Rhino. If you come to the top and right click and drag, you will pan. And that is the same in any of your 2D views, top, front, or right. I'd like you now to come to the word top in the upper left hand corner of this window and double click. This is going to maximize the 2D top view. If you want to work only in top, it is best to have a large screen to work with. If you come down to the lower left and you wanted to go back to the perspective window, you can left click on perspective and now you're in the perspective window. And if you want to go back to your four views, you can double click on the word perspective and you are back to your four views. So that is a basic orientation to Rhino 6.